Hello, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In this video, we are going to learn about the plural forms in Kenyan Sign Language. Singular and plural is a characteristic of all languages. In English, plural forms of regular nouns are shown by adding an S. For example, tree, trees, you just add an S. Book, books, you just add an S. In sign language, the following features are used to show plural. One, reduplication. Two, use of target sign plus the sign for many. Three, use of target sign plus a sign for a given number. Four, double articulation. And five, context. Now, we are going to look at all five of them one by one. One, reduplication. This is the repetition of a sign to show the plural. For example, child, children. So, child, we sign like this, child, child. Children, children, children. So, when we are signing child, you have to do the sign once, child, child. And when we reduplicate, when we repeat the sign, we make the plural form of the word child. So, children, children. Another example is house. House, houses. House, singular once, plural, houses. We do the sign twice. House, houses. The third example is tree, trees, tree, trees, tree, trees. So when we are doing the word tree, tree, and when we are signing trees, trees. The second form is the use of target sign plus the sign for many. So we first sign the target sign and then we sign many for example table then the plural will be table many so table then table many so table table then table many table many the second example is chair, then chair, many. Chair, chair, then chair, many. Chair, many. The third example, teacher, then teacher, many. Teacher, teacher, then teacher many teacher many the third form is the use of target sign plus a sign for a given number in this case we first sign the target sign then we sign a number which is representing the plural of the target sign for example cap 15 cap 15 Cap, then number 15. So we first sign the cap, then we add the number, which is 15. So cap, we put a C on an open palm, cap, then number 15. Another example is book 20. Book 20. Book. 20. Then another example is student 37. Student number 37. 
So first we sign the student, then the number. So student, student 37, student 37. Number four is double articulation. This is the simultaneous formation of signs using both hands. So an example is child children this is the second sign for child and children so the first one was child children and this one we will use a different sign so the first sign is child child this is the singular and the plural is children children we use both hands child children the second example is shoulder shoulder we point to the shoulder and if we are talking about shoulders we use both hands shoulders so shoulder shoulder shoulders shoulders the third example is eye then eyes eye we point with one hand eye then, if we are talking about the plural, we use both. Eyes. Eyes. I, then, eyes. Number five is context. Here, we use a sign to denote that the plural form describes a compound noun. For example, a group of people. Group of people people group of people then car in traffic car in traffic car in traffic so this will explain that we are talking about many cars and not one and it will also explain that when we are saying a group of people, we'll be talking about many people in one place. Thank you so much for watching and learning. Tap on the round button to subscribe to my channel and watch other videos on your screen. See you in the next video. Bye.